good morning all of you myself srk ec department today i am going to explain about bistable multi vibrator multi vibrator means it having two states it is changing from one state to another state in a multiple number of times that is multi vibrator stable means if a state is said to be a stable state suppose this is state 1 this is state 2 this state is said to be stable state when the trigger is applied then only it is changing from one state to another state it is bistable by bi means two so that's why the two states are stable states that means by applying external voltage it is changing from this state to another state and again we have to apply an external voltage to change from state 2 to state 1 so this is the bistable multi vibrator Now I am going to explain about the operation of bistable multi vibrator. So initially the circuit is in the state of Q1 is in off, Q2 is in on. We have to take any one of the state. One is Q1 off, Q2 on, this is one state or otherwise Q1 on, Q2 off. We can take any one of the state in order to start the operation. So we know for a transistor when it is in off what is the voltage at the output that means at the collector when it is in off the voltage at collector is VCC when it is in on the voltage at the collector is VCE sat so by using this operation we can able to explain about the total operation of the bistable multi vibrator so here now we are taking Q1 is in off when Q1 is in off, the voltage at collector is VCC. That means here the voltage is VCC. Q2 is in on state. When it is in on, the voltage at C2 is VCE set. So VCC is applied to Q2 through B2. Then it is in on state. Why? Because it is a high amount of voltage. It is in on state. When it is in on, we know the voltage at collector is VCE set, which is a low amount of voltage, approximately 0.3 volts which is applied to the Q1 through B1, then it is in off state. This process continuously happened up to the trigger is applied. So we have to apply an external trigger, then only it is changing from this state to another state. So how we can able to apply a trigger? Trigger means in order to give a trigger, we have to create a high pass RC circuit. So that's why here I am creating a high pass RC circuit. This is high pass RC and I am going to give a negative trigger. So that means I am giving a, a diode D1 right here. So we know high pass RC for an high pass RC output of high pass RC if you are giving a square wave right here the output of high pass RC is spikes if I am taking RC less than less than T. So here we are getting spikes like this. So here we are giving diode uh, terminals like this then the voltage at C1 will be only negative spikes. Here it is cathode N type material this is P type material only uh, diode will be in on state for the negative spikes only. So that's why negative spikes will be occurred at C1. Already the voltage at C1 is VCC. VCC plus negative. That means we are getting a low amount of voltage. That low voltage is applied to Q2. Then Q2 goes to off. So it goes to on to off. When it is in off, we know when it is in off, the voltage at here will be jumped to VCC. So here the voltage is now VCC. VCC is applied to Q1 then Q1, VCC is a high amount of voltage, Q1 goes to on. 
so when it is in on state the voltage at here will be vce set so here it will be vce set so now the voltage at c1 is vce set voltage at c2 will be vcc this is another state that means q1 on q1 on q2 off is another state so we have to apply another trigger to change from this state to another state that means that trigger will be applied at c2 so the same circuitry will be arranged at here that means here we have to create a diode here the resistor here there is a capacitor the same circuit will be arranged at here then we are getting negative spikes at here like this so here already the voltage is vcc and we are creating negative spikes at here so negative spikes plus vcc that means a low amount of voltage will be occur that low voltage will be applied to q1 then q1 goes to off that means on to off when it is in off we know the voltage at here will be again vcc that vcc will be applied to q2 then it goes to again on that means here the voltage is vc set now the voltage at c1 will be vcc c2 will be vc set again the trigger at here will be applied then it is changing from this state to next state this process will be continuously happen and it is changing from one state to another state by applying trigger at c1 and c2 so this is called as unsymmetrical triggering actually if you are applying the trigger on both sides then it is called as unsymmetrical triggering so there is another circuit for creating a trigger that means applying a trigger at one position that is called as symmetrical triggering if you are applying the trigger at one position to change both the states then it is called as symmetrical triggering if you are applying the trigger on both sides then it is called as unsymmetrical triggering so this is the circuit for unsymmetrical triggering so we can explain the symmetrical triggering in another circuit so this is the operation of bistable multi vibrator okay next i am going to explain about the wave forms initial state is q1 of q2 on we are taking so when q1 is in off state we are drawing the waveform at c1 when it is in off the voltage at c1 is vcc in the previous operation i already told that when it is in off the collector voltage will be vcc so vcc is a constant voltage so i am writing vcc and placing a straight line i am taking the state of here so this is a state for q1 off q2 on and this is the state for q1 on q2 off so if you are drawing for a full cycle this will be repeated for the next cycles so here q1 off so that's why i am writing vcc next i want to write for uh, draw for vb2 that means at here vb2 belongs to q2 this is q2 this is q1 vb2 belongs to q2 so q2 in this state q2 is in on state on state means vb2 will be at saturation that means vbe sat on means the transistor is in saturation so the voltage at b2 will be vbe sat which is 0.7 volts so that's why i am writing a constant at here next i want to draw for vc2 vc2 also belongs to q2 q2 is in on state when it is in on state the voltage at c2 will be vce set which is a 0.3 volts vce set 
This is also constant voltage. I am writing a straight line. Next, VB1. VB1 belongs to Q1. Q1 is in off state. So that's why it is at cutoff. Cutoff means approximately some minus voltages. So it is at negative voltage. Next, in order to change this state to another state, we are applying a trigger at here. That means we are applying negative spikes. That means negative spikes, already the voltage at C1 is VCC. VCC plus negative spikes will be a low voltage. So that means VCC plus negative. That means the next state is Q1 on Q2 off. We are applying the trigger. When the trigger is applied, it is changing from this state to another state that is Q1 on Q2 off. So because of the uh, negative spikes and plus VCC, here the voltage will be decreases. So the low voltage is applied to Q2, then Q2 goes to off. When Q2 goes to off, here the voltage is VCC, high voltage is applied to Q1, then it goes to on. So that's why we are getting the state Q1 on Q2 off. This occur when we are applying the trigger. So here uh, the voltage at C1 will be now Q1 on. On means here the voltage will be VCC set. VCC set means 0.3 volts. This is our VCC set. Next, what is the voltage at B2? B2 voltage. B2 belongs to Q2. So it is in half strength means it goes to negative voltage. Next, what is the voltage at C2? C2 belongs to Q2. Q2 is in half state. So then it goes to VCC. Next, what is the voltage at B1? B1 belongs to Q1. Q1 is in on state. That means it goes to VBE set. So it goes to exponentially increasing. Why? Because we are applying negative spike set here. With respect to that, it is also exponentially increasing and reaches to the VBE set. This is our VBE set. So here the state is Q1 on. B1 belongs to Q1. When it is in on, here the voltage will be VBE set. So here the voltage will be VBE set. So like, the, like this, the process will be repeated for the next cycles. We can get the waveform like this. Here also we are getting VBE set. Here VCE set. Here again we are getting like this. So this is the waveforms of bistable multi vibrator. Okay, now I am going to explain about the speed up capacitors. Which increases the speed of the operation. So these are attached across this R1 which is called as C1. Across at R2 which is called as C2. Why these are called as speed up capacitors? We know Q1 is in our initial state is Q1 of Q2 is in on state. Q1 of means here the voltage is VCC. So this VCC is applied to Q2 through B2. Because of that it goes to on state. That means this VCC is applied to Q2 through what? Through this resistance. Here we, if you are attaching a C1, this applying of this voltage will be in a fast manner that means uh, for a resistor which opposes the voltage that means because of voltage we are getting the current this resistance opposes the current but if you are adding a capacitor we know capacitor initially at t is equal to 0 capacitor initially uncharged and undischarged state that means at a t is equal to 0 it will be act as a wire that means if you are applying certain amount of vcc voltage through a resistor it takes certain amount of time to apply it to the Q2. But if you are adding a capacitor, this voltage will be passes through this C1 and it is applied to Q2 in a very less amount of time compared to R1. Why? Because this is the property of capacitor. Capacitor initially uncharged and uncharged, it will be act as a wire. So through, through this capacitor, it is applied fastly than that of R1. So next here also we are adding a C2. Here the next state is Q1 on Q2 is in off state. Q2 off means voltage at C2 is now it is VCC. 
so vcc is applied through r2 to q1 so that's why it goes to on stream here this vcc is applied through r2 because of vcc we are getting certain amount of current that is opposed by r2 so that means it takes certain amount of time to apply it to the q1 but if you are adding a capacitor because of this property this vcc applied fastly compared through r2 so because of this c1 and c2 this applying of voltages to q1 and q2 will be done in a fast manner compared to r1 and r2 so this will improve the speed of the operation so that's why these are called as speed up capacitors